Before I start this video, I just want to say that I've got a goal for the channel and that's to reach 10,000 subscribers basically as soon as I can, as fast as I can. So if you're enjoying the content and you've not subscribed yet, can you hit the button, press the button, smash the button, help me achieve this goal. It's really appreciated, really means a lot to me. So thanks and enjoy the video. Atlantis is probably one of my favourite topics. It's one of them, like it's kind of captivated me if I was a, a, like a young boy, even still does now. It's not just me, I'd imagine there's lots and lots of people. And uh, I've heard all different stories about where it could have been and stuff. And there's all, all different ones for like Antarctica to like Cuba. America, South America, Central America, Spain, eh, Crete, there's basically, <laughs> basically all over the place but for me it's basically solved now as far as I'm concerned. There's a, a guy that, that's really looked into this eh, and it's, it's not just him, I think there's quite a few people but eh, it's, eh, his name's like eh, Jimmy Corsetti and his, his channel on YouTube's Bright Insight. Uh, if you've not came across him, you should look him up. It really, really goes in deep on Atlantis especially, but all, all different topics as well. Really good watch, really good channel. But uh, for me, what he's saying is basically, it's basically solved it for me. So there's a place called the Russia Structure and it's in Mauritania and kind of like uh, West Africa, so like kind of Northwest Africa, you would say. And uh, there's just so much about that location that, that just kind of, it's just undisputable for me. So like the, the mountains behind it, well, they're, they're a sharp structure. It's quite a hard thing to say. <laughs> to say. The Rishat structure. I don't know if you see it, but you can look it up on like Google Maps and that. It's like concentric circles, basically what, what Atlantis was meant to be. It's a really weird feature. Eh? Like people say it's like geological in this and it could be. And maybe they just used that to build Atlantis on. But the shape of it, the look of it, the location of it, eh? people's been there like Atlantis would say, was said to be built for like red and black and white stone eh, that like somebody's went there and there's lots of rubble of red, black and white stone. It's got obviously the concentric circles as well. That's another one. It looks like it would have had a river leaving for the, the southwest going out into the Atlantic Ocean. That was also like part of the, the description. The mountain range behind it it's called the Atlas Mountains, like that. It's basically like tied into Atlantis as well. Uh, the gold as well, like Mauritania was a uh, was like really rich in gold. There was that famous king for there. Uh, this would have been like after Atlantis, obviously, but his name was Mansa Musa, and he was a uh, supposedly the richest person ever in the world ever kind of thing. He had that much gold, he, like he, he could crash economies just for like going on a trip to somebody's country because he would spend that much gold and stuff. Uh, so that you've got that, so you've got the coloured rocks, you've got the, the concentric circles, you've got the, the river to the south, west, you've got the Atlas Mountains. Uh, the, he, he's even found like maps uh, like ancient maps and it's, it's even got Atlantis written on the map and stuff uh, 
So, so to me, it's it's, it's just like that. There's so much evidence for what he's he's looked into and what he's found. And when I've seen it, it's just it's it's overwhelming, and it's 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 still in the uh, like geolog. Uh, what would you say? Like uh, geographically, it's still in a close enough location where the Egyptians and the Greeks and the Europeans and stuff would they knew about it? Yeah, because it's basically Northwest Africa. One of the ways that you would get to it would be going through the, the pillars of Hercules and down the coast, down the, like, the African coast, which was a well-known like the trade route and shipping route back then. Uh, even the thing like, so if that was like Atlantis, people think Atlantis was just the one place, but it was like a kingdom, the islands and stuff as well. So like basically that would have been the capital of Atlantis. The, the Rishat structure and then you've got like the islands like Cape Verde that would have been just like the, the coast for where the river would have been Cape Verde you've got the Canary Islands and you've got the Azores they all would have been part of the, the kingdom of Atlantis and also Atlantis the capital would have been uh, the Rishat structure and it's interesting as well because I've seen things in the past about, uh, I'm sure it was Tenerife, there's like pyramids on t Tenerife and the Canary, like the Canary Islands and stuff and nobody really knows why there's pyramids on the, the Canary Islands, nobody really knows who built them or whatever so to me that would all tie in with, with that, like, that being part of the Kingdom of Atlantis it fits in with it's past the pillars of Hercules uh, it's just, it's overwhelming. It's basically overwhelming. And uh, even quite interesting day, I'd seen some else. I've not seen this guy talk about it, but obviously, like, they, they talk about Atlantis, like, it was destroyed in a day and a night. We either sank or, like, some kind of earthquake or flood or something. But there's, uh, what would it be, like, the southwest coast of Crete in the Mediterranean. There's a big chunk missing at that island, and if if there was something I was watching and it shows you, it's almost like the big like a big rectangle chunk missing at the the southwest uh, corner of Crete, and it's like it slipped into the sea because that's where people thought Atlantis could have been as well. But if a big chunk of land like that sunk into the sea or slipped into the sea, that would have caused like a massive kind of like tidal wave, massive tsunami kind of thing. Yeah, I don't know if it would have reached all the way as far as Mauritania, but would have went quite far. But it just shows you like something like that could happen. And even with that Rishat structure being geological, the earth could they like moved up or down? Can it could they sank? Eh, could they sank down or or something like that? Eh, but he goes on a bit too. When you look at the satellite stuff, it looks like a big. People are saying it's like the wind and it's the sand because it's like the Sahara Desert, but it does look like a big tidal waves just washed right over it kind of thing. And there's deposits of like sea salt and stuff. And why would you hear sea salt in a desert kind of thing if it was always a desert? Or again, so there's just there's just like over for me. It's just like it's a done deal. It's overwhelming kind of thing. Like it was Atlantis was a a kingdom, so it wasn't just one place. And if you look at that Rishat structure, it's got the the red and black stones, the concentric circles, the river going to the southwest, out into the Atlantic. It's got the Atlas Mountains, it's got all the gold. There's all the islands off the coast of that area that they would have controlled, that would have been part of Atlantis, like the kingdom. There's pyramids. Eh, there's signs of like a cataclysm obviously happening and like the Sahara as well you, there used to be rivers running through there it used to be like a uh, tropical kind of thing so it would take trees and lakes and rivers so it would have been a really good place for a civilization before it turned into desert kind of thing maybe even that cataclysm sp like speeded up the the process of desert uh, turning it into a desert. Uh, the only thing is, there's not really many people went out and actually 
dug it, or like ar archaeological kind of digs or that, but I reckon if you did, you would find more evidence, evidence of like pottery and stuff. Uh, and it, to me, it just it all kind of ties in. It's, it's the right location. I'm sure it's the right size. Uh, it's got all the all the things again that, that Atlantis was supposed to have had, and so to me, it's it's just really that's it. It's 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 obviously like when it was destroyed, it's stuck in the memory of all the people in that wider area, and they've passed in the stories, and maybe there were stories that people that survived the cataclysm moved to Egypt. And at that time, there would have been rivers and stuff going right across the Sahara, so you could have travelled right across it to Egypt, no bother. And they've meant to have done that, and that's who set up like the Egyptian eh, civilization and stuff. But I, for, for me, it's a, it's a fascinating, not just me, like it's lots and lots of people. It's a fascinating topic, and just with the myth and the legend and stuff, and just, just really interesting and fascinating and it gets your brain going and uh, like I say there's people searched all over the world and came up with all these kind of claims like it was Antarctica and the, all the crust shifted and it moved it away down there and all this kind of stuff but for me that description and where that is and the way it looks like if you can look it up in Google Maps and stuff Look into that Jimmy Corsetti, a Bright Insight is his channel, because he goes through all its own ancient maps. It's like it's almost like what what more evidence do you want kind of thing? Uh, so that's it for me. That's basically it. Atlantis found. Search over the Rishat structure. So if you want, go and look it up and stuff. It's really interesting. But for me, it's it's done and dusted now, and it's it's really it's it's one of the tales that fascinated everybody, and it's puzzled everybody. And but again, in this day and age, people are just like, oh, it's all nonsense. That that's no it. Atlantis was never real. When they've not really got any evidence to say that, like people write stories about it, they've spoke about it for thousands of years. We're still talking about it all these thousands of years later, we're still looking for it. And now we've actually found a place that kind of, like, matches most of what it was written down in, like, Homer's Odyssey, I think it was. And people die, what well, I believe it. It's just crazy, but it's a bit like the, the aliens or whatever they are, like, people know, like, the government's even said that there's something going on and people are still thinking you're crazy for talking about it. They've done that much of a number on people. So, it's just crazy, but look it up, because for me, it's, it's really, it's fascinating, and it kind of, when it, you see them put it all together, and it all just ties together, and it's just, it's overwhelming. Like, the evidence is just overwhelming. So if, if you were into Atlantis or that and you've not came across this yet, which we probably have because if you're into it, you would have came, I came across it because I was into it and I was watching stuff. Uh, but I definitely look him up, look his channel up in that and uh, let me know if you agree with, with him and me kind of thing because I'm agreeing with him. Like I, I reckon that's that done and dusted. Uh, let me know if you disagree, let me know if you just don't believe Atlantis was ever real, or let me know where you think you think it is. Uh, but that's this, this one anyway, so I'll catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.